Hi, this is Sean from Phil and Sean's Vintage Radio Museum, back with another example of early radio control. This is a hybrid valve receiver carrier wave. It was the Ivy Mark II, and it was available as a kit from McGregor. Along with its matching transmitter, uh, when it was released, it cost approximately £9. The escapement is the ubiquitous Elmic Commander. Um, it was a, a very reliable unit, very well built rubber driven as you can see and the torque rod translates the action of it to the back which rocks the rudder. Battery requirements a little bit different to modern gear there's a 22 and a half volt battery for the valve which is there and a one and a half volt battery for the valve heater and then you have the other cells in there for the escapement circuitry. Okay what's unusual about this in today's standards is this is a super regenerative receiver no crystal control, so it can be affected all across the band. It, it, it doesn't have a fixed frequency. And as you can see, there's nothing happening with it. It's turned on and no interference. So the 27 meg band round here is, for all intents and purposes, dead as a dormouse. OK. I'd like to show it in action now. Uh, using this transmitter, I built this a number of years ago. It's an OXO tin transmitter. Was a design in the air modeler. This has been modified so it can work carrier wave or tone, and this indeed needs to be set as carrier wave. So one press, and you get the first stop on the actuator, and as you can see, it moves the rudder over to the right. Second press, so that's a press, release, and hold. Moves to the next cam position, and you get left, and it's as simple as that. So it's full right, full left. So once. Okay, so there we go. Right, so quick blip of that, as you can see, it always cycles. So one of the things you had to keep in mind was the amount of operations that you carried out, because eventually the rubber would run out, and the plane would either fly off or come down in the spiral of doom. So there we are, early example. It's approximately 45 years old, possibly a little bit older. Still working well today.